Welcome to Asai Rasai. I'm getting ready to season my clay cooking pot for the first time before I use it for cooking. And this has to be done and it needs to be done properly so that the water or any liquid that you cook in the pot is not absorbed by the pot and seeped out from underneath. It also strengthens the pot so that it doesn't crack while uh, you know it's in contact with all that heat. Without scrubbing or using any detergents on the pot, just submerge the pot in water like this for about 15 to 24 hours. The longer you keep it, the better it is, but a minimum of 15 hours is recommended. So this is gonna sit in the water undisturbed. You're not gonna change the water. You're not going to be pulling out the pot to check or anything, just leave it undisturbed. And also use regular tap water, not hot water. And this is a clay pot that I have been using often. I seasoned it myself just the way I'm showing you in this video. Um, if you haven't seen the curries that I make in these pots, uh, go take a look. It's all been uploaded on this channel and be sure to subscribe while you're at it. So the more you use these clay pots, the stronger they become and they also become a darker color. Over time, they might even turn black. So it's very interesting to see how these pots, you know, um, evolve over time and they do last many, many years. Um, just be careful not to use a scouring pad uh, too strongly um, and be very cautious about using detergents. So this is 18 hours later and last night I thought I better cover this side of the sink with plastic wrap just so that my husband you know he comes after work late at night and he sees something in the kitchen sink he wants to wash it so I just wanted him to know that nothing is supposed to go in this sink and no one's supposed to touch this pot so anyhow I'm gonna drain out this water and gently give this pot a nice little scrub um, then I'm gonna wash it again with clean tap water and that's about all after that we will go to the next step so if I put some water into this pot and leave it for about 20 minutes to half an hour um, and I see that the water has reduced um, and I see that the pot, the underside of the pot is damp or it's seeping water, that means the pot needs to stay submerged in water for several more hours. So don't be in a hurry to take this pot out of the water and start the second ste uh, step of seasoning. Uh, just be patient and let this first part be successful so that the overall seasoning process will go smoothly for you. So after towel drying the pot, it's still damp, but we could go ahead and apply the oil and just use any cooking oil. I'm using sesame oil, um, just a few drops like this and use your fingers to rub the oil into the pot. So try to use your hands to do this because the warmth of your hands is going to help the oil spread and really get into the pot. Because the pot is cold, so anything warm is going to help it uh, to absorb that oil. If your pot has a lid, um, you would follow the same procedure. You need to season the lid as well and uh, do the same for the outside of the pot. A couple of drops of oil and rub it in nicely. The pots they make nowadays are not as thick as um, they used to be. A basic pot like this used to be pretty heavy and thick and they lasted, what, 50, 60 years or more? Um, and they become really smooth over time as well. So these have that risk of cracking pretty quickly. So don't preheat the oven. We're going to bake this pot, but um, the oven needs to be turned on once the pot has been placed on the middle rack of the oven. And then you set it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, leave it for about 20 minutes or until the pot gets hot. And this is inside my oven. I have placed it on the middle rack and um, it's turned on to 400 degrees now. And now it's been 20 minutes. I have just taken the pot out of the oven. It's not too hot, like burning hot or anything, uh, but it's just hot enough that the oil has been absorbed. And if you have any patches of oil in your pot like this, uh, don't worry, those will all disappear as the pot cools. Um, let's put the pot to the test now and I'm gonna see if it's properly seasoned. 
And before you do this test, you need to make sure that the pot has completely cooled. So measure some water into the pot like this and leave it for a few minutes. I'm actually gonna go out, but I'll be back in about an hour and then I'll be able to check if the water level has reduced or not. And this is before I left home and this is one hour later. There's no change in the water level. And I'm gonna go even further and measure this back into my measuring cup and see if it's about the same amount that I put. So let me just refocus the camera onto the numbers on the jug. And, and that's exactly how much I put in. Just above 12 ounces is what I put into the pot and that's what I got back out. So I know my pot is seasoned and ready to use. But here's an alternate way of seasoning the pot without using an oven. Um, if you want to go further and do this just to make it, you know, triple sure that your pot is seasoned, that's fine too. So this procedure was um, suggested to me by my aunt who lives in Matara. Um, thankfully you know she knows all this stuff and she's able to share with me um, I used a little bit of coconut and this is frozen coconut if you want you could use uh, fresh coconut she actually told me to use coconut refuse which is uh, the coconut that is left over after we extract the milk and just warm it up in the pan like this while stirring it and all the oils from the coconut is going to um, get into the pot and it's just going to start seasoning the pot so first you add the coconut into the pot and then you turn on the heat to medium and maintain medium heat right throughout you could take breaks over that 15 minute period when you have to stir this um, rest the coconut for about a minute or two and then start stirring again eventually the coconut is going to toast and become dry and brown and that's what we want to achieve so I'm going to be showing you the progression and you will notice uh, where the coconut looks dry. You can turn off the heat. Before it turns brown, the coconut becomes really dry, almost like desiccated coconut. And from this point forward, it's going to start becoming brown really quickly. Then turn off the heat and allow the pot to cool completely before you handle it. Discard the coconut because you don't need it anymore. And when you're washing the pot again, wait until it cools completely before you rinse it and start using it. Extreme temperatures can crack the pot even after it has been seasoned. So just pay attention on handling and care of these clay pots and they'll last a long time. If you found this video to be helpful, give me a like, share and subscribe to my channel Asai Rasai. Thanks for watching.